a third vulnerability that I reported, and this is the Oracle. So as I told you in the beginning, every uh, asset that is being supported by the protocol has an Oracle. And here, okay, here I didn't write audit comments, which is good because now you can take a look at this file and tell me what problems do you see here? So take your time, one minute, just it's a small contract, only 50 lines of code. Take a look, this is supposed to be an Oracle for DAI. DAI is supposed to be stablecoin, one dollar, and this is supposed to bring the get price USD, supposed to bring the return the price of DAI, the current price of DAI. And take a look at this contract and tell me what you see over here. It has a lot of problems. Literally a lot. Yeah. So the first one to answer is Kai. Yeah. Over here. This is the ETH Oracle. They use ETH Oracle to determine the die price. And they set here an hard coded address of zero. Okay. And they lived here and open to do. So it, it, they wanted to update the, the Oracle of ETH, but they didn't. So they just went. May, they didn't finish the job, right? The developer did not finish the job. It doesn't seem like anyone went through the contracts before they submitted them to Sherlock. And the address here is zero. And as you can see here, this uh, variable, this storage variable, ETH Oracle, is being used here. So they are using ETH Oracle dot get price USD. Now, what happens when you are trying to call get price USD to address zero? You guys tell me. Oh, another. <laughs> I didn't even check these addresses, but you are saying that this this price feed, yeah. So this is supposed to be the die ETH feed, and this is the die ETH Oracle, and this ah this is supposed to be the static Oracle over here. So they had a file for static Oracle for Uniswap, and they also have a Chainlink Oracle, and apparently this one is also wrong. We can also open you know Etherscan and just paste the address you know, and see where it leads us. So this is a smart contract and we go to the contract section. It's a chain link smart contract for Oracle for ETH DAI. Let's see. Description. Yeah, this is correct. DAI ETH. Ah, this one is not DAI ETH. The Uniswap one is not DAI ETH. Okay, so th this one is correct. This one is chain link DAI ETH. This is supposed to be probably the pool for DAI ETH in Uniswap. Let's see. Let's search this address and go to contract. Uniswap V triple Rob BDC. <laughs> yeah, this was another one. Yeah, so it's not that it's, it's this WBGL token that I don't know where they brought it from, but they use it as a collateral. And here it's supposed to be that ETH and it's not. So this one I missed. Actually, I didn't even check. I didn't bother to check that this address. And this is another problem here. They set it to zero, which means that every time you call this get price USD, it will be reverted the transaction will fail because ETH Oracle does not have function get price USD because it's address zero so this line will revert so it doesn't work and they need this Oracle every time because they use it every time someone deposits DAI to the protocol to mint USD tokens then they send DAI and they want to make sure that DAI what's the price of DAI in US value and it will revert so basically it means that no one can mint tokens using DAI. No one can mint USD token. Yeah, I don't know even if it will deploy. I didn't even try to run the test files because they were broken and I, I didn't bother this time to spend time on like fixing the test or making them run. But I think it should compile. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think it should compile this line of code, but it's definitely going to revert because there is no function get price USD. It's going to find search for the SIG hash of the function and there's going to be nothing because it just address zero. So it will, it will be reverted for sure.